The preparation and properties of silver tetraiodomercurate. Attention, mercury salts are highly toxic and can cause genetic defects. Contact with skin or inhalation can be life-threatening, and these are toxic to aquatic life with long-lasting effects. Silver nitrate is an oxidizing agent, can cause severe chemical burns on the skin and eyes, and is also toxic to aquatic life with long-lasting effects. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. First, 6.8 grams of mercury chloride are weighed out in a 150 ml beaker and 100 ml of distilled water were added. Then it was stirred until most of it had dissolved. After about 20 minutes, distilled water was added in small portions until everything had dissolved and the solution was stirred for 5 to 10 minutes between the additions. By changing the speed of the stirring, the crystals could be crushed to increase the speed of the process. Then a saturated solution made of 8.3 grams of potassium iodide and distilled water was prepared. The iodide solution was added to the mercury chloride solution in portions with a pipette while stirring. Here an ion exchange reaction takes place, where the mercury chloride and potassium iodide react to form mercury iodide and potassium chloride. Due to the stirring and the addition in portions, it is made possible that large particles are formed which can later be filtered off easier. After the addition, it was stirred further for two minutes. Obviously, large particles had formed. The beaker was washed out with water to filter off all of the mercury iodide and to wash it. After that it was washed two more times with distilled water. Next 8.3 grams of potassium iodide were dissolved in 50 milliliters of distilled water. The mercury iodide was added in the filter and the filter was washed out. It can be removed very easily. Then it is stirred and the mercury iodide dissolves within a short period of time. Here the mercury iodide reacts with the potassium iodide to form potassium tetraiodomercurate. This substance was used in the past in Nestler's reagent and helped to determine the presence and concentration of ammonia and amines in basic solution. Today, less toxic alternatives are used. Next, a solution made of 8.5 grams of silver nitrate and 150 milliliters of distilled water was prepared and the stirring bar from the mercury solution was added. The two solutions probably have to be mixed at once to minimize the formation of silver iodide and it might be better to add the silver solution to the mercury solution. Here the potassium tetraiodomercurate and silver nitrate react to form silver tetraiodomercurate and potassium nitrate. After a short amount of time, the silver tetraiodomercurate was formed, which was then filtered off. While filtering off, the beaker was again washed with water and the product was washed twice with water. Then it was spread out on a porcelain dish and dried on air. Especially on the rim, it can be seen after the drying that the product contains silver iodide because it turns darker due to the formation of elementary silver. 21 grams of silver tetraiodomercurate were obtained, which corresponds to a yield of 107%. According to the literature, a quantitative yield is expected, which is why the additional weight might be due to the formation of silver iodide. This substance is usually used as an example for a thermochromic inorganic compound, which means that it has a different color at different temperatures. 
The change from yellow to red already takes place at 40 degrees C and can be observed very well. A similar substance would be copper 1 tetraiodo mercuriate, which changes its color at 70 degrees C, but also mercury iodide changes its color from red to yellow at 127 degrees C. When it cools down it becomes yellow again due to the process being reversible. That's why thermochromic compounds can be used similarly to a thermometer. A simpler and less toxic example is zinc oxide, which changes from white to yellow at 425 degrees C. Here it is heated on a metal plate with a Bunsen burner. This were the preparation and properties of silver tetraiodomercury. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment.